Everything seems to be in order. We've erased all traces of evidence that we were ever even here. The body is tied up nice and tight in the trunk. How far am I going up? Cut. Quiet all set. Rolling and action. And action. And action. Not one day of practice, not one day of formal practice. I learned that all myself. First time in a while that I've uh, <laughs> had to actually introduce myself. Uh, most people know I'm Jesse Malone. Uh, you know, I was, I was prominently featured on uh, the show Day After Day as a youth. Um, not saying it was a big deal. Went on for, you know, a season and a half. You know, I won a daytime <coughs> Emmys. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what are these? Uh, you know, so kind of a big deal. Or whatever. I was. Uh. I started out in the streets. You know, it's been fun. You know, got some pimps, some pimp daddies, some sugar daddies. Uh, a lot of daddies. But, uh, yeah, now I'm in the acting business, you know. Here I am. I bust all the way here from Syracuse. Just, just for it. I, I was... I was going to be a, a really minor role, but it was such a, a, a big deal to me. I, I really wanted to do this. I'm sorry. Am I doing good? Oh, yeah. My name's... What lens are you using? Is that a kit lens? But what ISO are you shooting? What, what does the composition look A 400? You got three different lights and you got a 400 on that camera? Are you serious? Anyway, my name is Garvin C. Wells. I'm the director of photography. My shots are going to be looking better than this right now. I can tell you that for sure. So we're talking about the project. We're talking about this film. It was, it was um, myself and uh, uh, Garvin Cornelius Wells III and uh, Christopher Costello. No relation to Abbott and Costello. I actually contacted um, Matt and Garvin because I had this idea for a, a short film. We're all just hanging out one night, trying to come up with an idea for a film, for a short, something to something that would push us, push us a little to the edge. So I had this idea for you know a boy, uh, you know a hero. You know, we're bouncing ideas off of each other. Chris got high and fell asleep. Yeah, he gets high a lot. And by by the end of the night, we each had a segment in this movie that we had wanted to that we wanted to write and film, and we were each going to direct our own segments, and it was a really good concept. So obviously I wrote, I wrote this film, um, I was going to direct it, I decided not to because, you know, I didn't want to spread myself too thin, um, you know. Uh, next question. Come on, let's go. Are you serious? Fucking amateurs. And so we, we cast our movie, we recast our movie, and we recast our movie again. And this wonderful boy with long hair stopped at my corner and uh, picked me up. And, you know, after we're done, he gave me 50 bucks and, you know, had a good time. And he was like, he asked me if I wanted to uh, be in his movie. So I said yes. I wasn't even casting. I, we just kind of headed off and things went from there, you know. Am I doing good? I was, uh, I was a guy that was going to be tortured. It was really dramatic. And... Uh, uh. Well, my proposed role 
was to be what I am, a hooker. And I was uh, laying in bed and I get murdered. Yeah. It really meant a lot to me, this project, cause, because the character was really dramatic for me and so special. I, I felt like I really was him. But man, oh my God. Walking with Jesse Malone. The camera just loves him. That's all it is. He is Maison Sen. He is the critical focus to my design. You can't have a film without him. You can't. I'm trying to make a movie about a serial killer, something people relate to. It was very poorly run. Next question. We tried forgetting locations. We attempted to actually film um, on SUNY Oswego campus. Wasn't a fun time. Do we have to talk about that? Do we? Oh, man. You, you had to bring this up. You had, you had. You have good days and you have bad days. And then you have a days where you want to commit homicide. Chris, Chris had a good soul. He had a, he had a good heart. You know, he was the kind of guy that would do anything for you. He would, he would do what it took for the role. He shaved his head for one of his roles. But accidents happen. Next question. I, I was gaffing a little bit because I do everything on this set. And I sneezed. And then I accidentally knocked a light over into Chris's crotch. I, I, never, I never thought that I'd see a light kit fall on top of somebody's crotch and have him bleed out in front of me. I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to look after his family, you know? You know, uh, fiance and a newborn. So I'd like, I'd like to dedicate this film to the memory of Christopher Costello. Uh, wherever you are, buddy. some aggressive things happening in the bedroom, so, you know. Did I do good? Wait, did I do good? Okay, the, the lights. Did I do good? See, pornography is like videos. They're cheap, they're gross, and they're disgusting. What I'm gonna make is a connection. A connection with people. A connection with love, lust, intimacy. Are we done? Are we done here? We, we're, we're done here. We're, we're done here. Well, I mean, this one right here says best performance for a, a child named Jesse. It's very specific, um, but I felt like I earned it, you know. Jesse Eisenberg, he was up for it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> you cut me off. Jesus. That was take one.